Hello, Jezdemail here with another episode of The Cat Lady. I hope everyone's doing wonderful. We're going back to our... F we can't go back to our... F fuck. Okay, we need to find a pair of scissors or something in order to, um... Uh, be able to do stuff with this black dress. Oh, maybe I can hang it downstairs. And then I can, uh, throw the paint on it. So let's... No, the paint's not for that. I don't know where to get the scissors. I really, honestly, have no clue. So we're gonna go back down... Can I get more glass? No, I can't. Alright, and can I leave? No, I can't leave. What did it say? Uh, this guy is hiding here in this house. There's no reason to go outside. Okay, let's go back downstairs and try to put the dress back. And we'll see what we can do from there. Because I'm not entirely sure what we can do. Here's the pipes, but there's no point in doing anything with the pipes. We already messed with the coal. This wall looks uh, fresh, but I can't do anything about it. Okay. Oh, oh shoot, what sorry. Oh no. Well, basically, we need three things. We need a mask. Tin of red paint. Red paint. We've got it already. Black dress. The dress will make a great costume. We just need it in black. Also, it should look damaged. That's important. Cat Widow is a ghost after all. I'll need some scissors for that. We need some kind of mask. I don't want him to recognize me, obviously. Okay, what we need to do is we need to go back through the other rooms then. Um, maybe I could put the dress back for now. There, now we have a black dress. Okay, I need to find scissors. Can I use the red paint on the black dress? No, I can't. Okay. Hey, what should we do now? So, what next? Maybe we can find some clues in the mail? There's a mailbox in the hall. Thank you. Pardon me. Now, remember, I looked at the mail earlier and there was no mail. So let's see what's there now. I was thinking of checking the mailbox again, but I never did. No mail for Susan. What a surprise. All the other compartments are locked. Let's examine. It's a uh, communal uh, mailbox. It holds all its tins. Mail separately in locked compartments. Hey. Um, can you pick lock? Can you? Do you think you can unlock this mailbox? I think I can most certainly unlock this mailbox. Thank you. Then do it quickly. Someone can come in any minute. A little room for the master. Oh my god. Oh, I have really? the yawns. I'm sorry. Could you step away towards the stairs and turn around? Please? Weren't you like having sex with it or something? Jeez. Master criminal. If anything. You done yet, Bietch? Done. Here's all the mail. Hide it in your pockets and let's get out of here. It was mostly junk mail and leaflets. I threw those away. Okay, cool. Let's look at the letter. Uh, not here. She'll be back any minute and we'll be caught red-handed. Okay, let's uh, go down into the basement and read it then. <laughs> okay, time to uh, do stuff that's against the law. It's from Dr. Frank Zellman. It appears he thinks uh, it appears he's Joe's shrink. Apparently, Joe failed to attend his weekly sessions recently. Well, well, it looks like Joe's just as messed up as I am, or worse. Who knows? I should uh, be I should be the last to make judgments, really. Well, well, looks like Pauline is looking for a babysitter. This letter says she's supposed to interview an agency nanny later today. Great. I could be a nanny. It's certainly worth a try, but I should warn you. I don't want to have anything to do with that baby. You're gonna have to handle this on your own. Sure, I understand. Leave it to me, Mrs. A. Okay, bye. See you in hell. You gonna go now? Oh, yeah, let's go upstairs. Maybe, maybe the lady who has a baby has scissors. I need scissors. 
Uh, she was on the top floor, so let's go up to the top floor. Guy with the gun on the right, her on the left, and then right below is the other dude we don't like, so let's go over here. My ear won't pop, I'm sorry about that. Right, step back. I'll handle this. <laughs> what, the other lady can't see her? Hello? Hi. I've heard you're looking for a babysitter. Is that correct? Well, yes, that's correct. Look no further. My name is Mitzi Hunt. Really? I'm with the C? But I'm great with children. And I could really use a job. These school tuitions get pretty expensive these days. I... Okay, maybe. But why is Mrs. Ashworth here? Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. That's what I was wondering. Uh, hi, Pauline. Um, how are you? I'm great, thanks. I haven't seen you for ages. Are you here to apply for a job as well? <laughs> no, of course not. I... Oh, Miss Ethworth's a lodger, works for the agency. She's here to assess me. Oh, I'm Mrs. Ashworth's lodger. She kindly offered me a room and we've been living together for the last couple of weeks. I mentioned to her I was looking for a job. My parents pay for the room and school fees, but I could do with some extra spending money. So, anyway, I'm starting this course on child psychology next semester. And I thought it would be useful to get some hands-on experience with little children. Sorry about the silence there. always says you have to get your hands dirty to learn something properly. Not that you get dirty hands looking after babies. Just m metaphorically speaking. Yes, you do. Well, it can get dirty. I hope you understand the job would involve changing that piece too. Yes, of course. I don't have a problem with that. Yes, well, you sure sound enthusiastic. Would you like to come in? Both of you? It's okay. I'll wait. I love just letting I random people into my home to take care of support. my children. You know how shy I get sometimes. <laughs> yes. Well, you'll... Okay. You owe me. We need to work together on this. I'll do the talking, I promise. Fine. Just don't overdo it. But I enjoy overdoing it. It's too late for that, Mrs. A. <laughs> now she has a job as a babysitter! Pardon me, my nose is a little... Pff. Everything's a little... What pff. a nice flat! I love the wallpaper. Very retro. Um, thanks. I decorated myself just before Alyssa was born. Please follow me. We can talk in the living room. I'll need you to drag her away. How the hell am I supposed to do that? I don't know. I'm sure you can think of something. Why don't you think of something? I told you I don't do babies. I feel so uncomfortable here. I gladly blend with this cheesy wallpaper that you like so much and disappear. I know. So do I. Do you think I know anything about babies? No. But I'm trying to fake it and so far she's buying it. Look, I need you to stay cool and come up with something that'll make her. Why don't you just talk to her and then I can look around the house? That's where the problem is. I can't think of anything. Just play it by ear, yeah? Okay, bye. They're mostly photos of the baby. There are a couple of Pauline and her the her ex. His face is missing on each one of them. If she wants to cut this guy out of her life so badly, why won't she just take these pictures down? I should let you know from the start that looking after a toddler is not an easy task. They're just beginning to crawl, they're very curious, and sometimes they can cry for no apparent reason. And my Alyssa, well, she is a very noisy child. Do you have any previous experience with children? Um, yes, I used to babysit na my neighbor's yes, kids. I used to babysit my neighbor's kids. Excellent. I know we all have to start somewhere, but it helps if you at least know the basics. I'd like to get back to work soon, you see. Just part time for now. That's why I need someone to stay with her. I'm not going to find it easy to be apart from Alyssa. 
But my career has always been important to me as well. Why have a baby then? Forever. If I don't do this now, they'll just replace me. Uh, there just isn't enough support for working parents. There just isn't enough support for working parents. Tell me about it. If I don't get back to work in two weeks' time, they will cut my maternity pay in half. So I haven't really got a choice. It's wow. either this or Alyssa and me will face the life in poverty. Okay. I have a great connection with kids. I'm sure I can manage with Alyssa. Okay, I don't doubt that. I'm a liar. Would you like to hold Alyssa for a minute? No, thank you. We should probably see if she likes you first. Okay. Yes, definitely. But I ought to wash my hands first. Um. Your hands? My hands. I must have touched a million things on my way here. As much as I want to hold her, I just don't think it's safe. You know. Um. Really? What have you been touching? Oh, you know, just. Ordinary things, this and that. You look pretty clean. I'm sure it'll be okay. Well, if you must know, I... Stroked a filthy-looking dog, volunteered at the hospital earlier today, hugged a homeless man outside, this place that might have forgotten to wash my hands after using the toilet. I just have a bad cold, I'm sneezing a lot. I might have forgot to wash hands after using the toilet. Oh. If that's the case, then... I would very much prefer that you wash your hands. <laughs> I'll show you to the bathroom. Would you mind answering the door for me? Sure. No problem. It's probably just my friend Kate. Just let her in, please. Is that okay? The bathroom's this way. Follow me. Sure, do you have scissors? Your turn, Mrs. A. Seriously. Do something. Okay. Anything. Okay, I'm leaving! Fine. Jeez! Scrub those dirty hands really well. I need a bit of time. Okay, well, I have to let this dick hole in. Let's examine. Nothing useful here, just books, 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 and a few toys. The kitchen looks sparkling clean. Open. You're a scary woman. Hello. Hello. Are you Kate? I've been sent by the agency. My name is Rita Tickle. May I come in, please? No, we don't need agency. you anymore. What agency? The Happy Nanny Babysitters Agency, of course. We bring fun and professionalism into child minding at a discount price. May I come in, please? Wait, just hang on a second. I believe we have an appointment. It was confirmed by post. Didn't you get a letter? No. Hang but on, I said. I'm sorry, it's already been taken. I'm sorry. The position has already been taken. Oh, great. Are you sure? Yes! I'm sure. Jeez! Time. See ya. Wait, wait, wait. There must have been some kind of mix-up. No, there wasn't a mix-up. You're just too late. Bye. I'd better call the office and find out what happened. Wow, what a bitch. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I looked inside. Bookcase, there's nothing in it. Pictures, don't care. Window, examine. It gets dark on the side of the building. TV, examine. It's just a big TV. Um, laptop, use. I don't know about uh, enough about computers. I should leave it to Mitzi. There's scissors. Take. Stupid woman leaving right next to a pair of sharp scissors. I'm dropping some of my words now, sorry. There's the baby. Photos. There's a lot of photos of Pauline and her ex. His face has been cut out of every single one of them. Okay, look at the baby. Bathroom door examine. I can hear water running. I must hurry. They could be out any second now. Okay, bye! So, was it my friend at the door? No, just some door-to-door -door salesman. 
Well, I hope you told him to go to hell. I honestly don't know what these people are thinking. Yeah, me neither. I'm sure it's Kate this time. I'll let her in if you'll excuse me for a minute. Wait! I forgot to turn the tap off in the bathroom. My hands are still aren't clean enough. I should wash them. I'm feeling really sick all of a sudden. I think I've got something in my eye. I think I've got. I think I forgot to turn the tap off in the bathroom. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry. Would you mind going back to the bathroom and turning it off while I answer the door? Sure. Um. I'm feeling really sick all of a sudden. Oh. Do you think you're actually going to throw up? Yes, definitely. Oh, yes. Quickly, go back to the bathroom. I don't mean to be rude, but this is a very expensive carpet. Will you come with me? Please, what if I faint? Um. I'm scared. Everything's just spinning around. <laughs> Mrs. Ashworth, go with you for a change. It's okay. I'll answer the door and let your friend in, yeah? Well... Fine. I'll put Alyssa in her bed for a minute and I'll come with you. That'll teach you to always wash your hands after using the toilet. Bye. I'm gonna go stab this woman with the scissors. What a bitch! <sighs> it's you. Again. Hello. Is this flat number eight? No, it's not. My name is Rita Pickle. Oh, gosh. The happy nanny agency. Go away. May I come in, please? No. Look, sweetheart, I'm sorry. I can't help you. You are looking for a nanny, yeah? No. no not anymore. I have 10 years experience and training in child discipline techniques and behavioral psychology. Also, I am known for good personal hygiene, strong work ethics, and I only take one break every five hours. Just to use the restroom. Wow, that sounds really great, but I don't need your services. You don't need a nanny. No. No. I've decided to give my baby up for adoption. You're an evil person. You're a bitch! Get out of my life! Hell for doing that to your baby. Get out of here. Yeah. I'm evil. <laughs> but you're thick. Thick isn't stupid or thick isn't fat? Because I don't know. Alright. So can't use it. Photos, bathroom, laptop. Can I go into the bathroom? I can hear the water running. I'm sure it could be out any minute now. Okay, apparently I'm missing something. Maybe I'll try the other pictures. Now, most of these photos are Pauline and the kid. There are some few, a uh, guy and a few of them, but the faces seem to be cut out on every single picture. That's odd. Uh, kitchen is sparkling clean. There's nothing useful. Books, books, and a few toys. Are you guys done? Or do I have to fucking... It's a big TV. Hello? I already looked at all these. Can I stab the baby? I can't cut anything here. Okay. Well, I can't do anything. Examine. It's, a, it's Pauline's laptop. Okay, bye. I guess I'm leaving now? I don't know what to do. There's nothing. I've already looked at everything. Looking at it is just painful. Okay. Oh, can I cut the cable with the scissors? I don't think I can. It's just pure suicide. I can't do it, uh, that shit anymore. There must be a safer way. Nope. What if I just shut off the power? Uh... 
Okay, now can I cut the cable? I probably can't. Pull it or cut it. Okay. All right. These scissors seem sharp enough. Let's create some diversion. I hope this is what Mitzi had in mind. that again what happened to the lights i'm i'm terrified of the dark i i i, I can't move oh god I can't breathe calm down it's all right what a shitty babysitter it must have ran out of money again it's not even that dark please you've got to do something about it i i think i'm going to faint fine just stay in my bedroom there'll still be plenty of sunlight there at this time of the day I'll go outside and put some money on the meter. It'll only take a minute. Wow, I wouldn't want her to be my babysitter. She's shit. She's shit! And we'll do more of this shit tomorrow. <laughs> this has been Chester Bell. And I hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you later for another episode of this. Goodbye.